Good morning, coming to you today from the Wakatahachi Wetlands. It's February 16th, 2024. I was doing my uh, lap and walking around. I already saw a hawk and I did see a rosette spoonbill walk, uh, flying above. So I'm uh, optimistic for some uh, nice photography out here this morning. The weather's beautiful, a nice cool morning, uh, clear skies right now. My purpose for the photography out here today is, uh, believe it or not, I had to send my Fujifilm 100 to 400 to Fuji for repair. So I'm out here to test the uh, lens and I'm gonna be using the uh, Fuji X-H2S to test it and make sure that everything came back uh, working properly. About a month ago, I took the lens out and I uh, was cleaning it, uh, getting ready to go out and uh, do some uh, photography at a rodeo. And uh, as I was cleaning the rear element of the lens, I felt it uh, loose and I looked inside and uh, it was definitely loose and I eventually ended up falling into the uh, chamber of the lens. To share my experience uh, with you and uh, Fuji Repair, I'm uh, very happy with them. Uh, it's about the third time that I've used them. I've had uh, to repair two lenses and I repaired a flash uh, another time. So uh, I've used them three times. Uh, it took about uh, three weeks and turnaround time. I'm not paying for the uh, Fujifilm professional service. It's very expensive. It's uh, about $300. I thought about it, but uh, the cost of uh, joining and then the uh, cost of the repair of the lens was, was not something I was uh, ready to do at this time. Time is 7:10 uh, in the morning. The light's beautiful. Looking around now, there's some beautiful light in some of the birds. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start taking some photos. But uh, again, uh, my experience uh, with Fujifilm was uh, very good. It took about three weeks turnaround time. I called them uh, multiple times, uh, asking them uh, about the process as far as sending it in, and uh, they were very friendly uh, and very helpful. Uh, we're, they stayed on the phone uh, with me uh, for quite some time and uh, provided a lot of information. So the turnaround time uh, without the uh, Fuji uh, professional service uh, benefit, uh, it was about three weeks. And like I said, uh, so thus far my experience with them, the three times I've had to unfortunately use them has been excellent. So for my uh, settings on the camera, I'm using a continuous autofocus. Uh, I started out uh, with the uh, bird and eye autofocus tracking. Uh, I felt like I was having some success with that, but uh, then it became uh, frustrating as I was uh, fighting with uh, twigs and branches and uh, trying to get the uh, camera to focus where I wanted to. I've gone ahead and switched to where I'm selecting a box and uh, trying to place it on the face of the bird. Uh, I am on continuous high, shooting uh, 15 frames per second. Uh, I do have the uh, camera set to manual, so I'm picking the shutter speed and the aperture. I turned off the aperture ring on the lens because I'm going ahead and um, I'm selecting the aperture with the rear dial of the uh, Fuji X-H2S. Uh, I find uh, when I'm using big lenses, uh, it's, it's the one time that I'll go back uh, and revert to my old uh, Canon photography days and use that uh, rear dial for the uh, aperture and the front dial for the shutter speed. Uh, the ISO has been uh, pretty high right now, uh, trying to keep a fast shutter speed. So what I like to do is uh, observe the birds and uh, see if there's one with a particular routine, uh, flying back and forth, uh, getting a uh, building material. Hopefully uh, seeing what the pattern is and where they like to go and uh, be patient and uh, keep an eye out for them and uh, see uh, follow them as they go back and forth and try to get some photos that way. So another thing I try to do when I'm uh, taking photos out here of the birds, especially when you have a, a lens that uh, is a 5.6 aperture uh, and if the bird is uh, very close to the background, you're going to have a busy background. So what I try to do is uh, try to find a bird uh, where I can get the cleanest uh, background that I can possibly get. Uh, I like to have that background go a little bit darker a lot of the times, uh, but uh, I, you know I'll move around and uh, not settle for my first uh, uh, opportunity. Uh, even though when you get that first opportunity, you always take it, uh, but then try to move around and see if uh, there's a better composition where you can make that background look uh, a bit more interesting. So I always make sure that uh, you don't stay still in one spot for too long. It's tough, sometimes it's a great spot, but uh, there may be one up ahead uh, waiting for you. So as I started to walk away, I saw a very small bird at the first. I thought maybe it was uh, even a hummingbird because it was so small. I believe it was a warbler. 
first couple of shots were bad shots. I was just trying to at least have an opportunity to take a picture of it. And then uh, eventually I was fortunate that it paid off. Uh, he got to a spot where uh, the sun was actually uh, lighting him up instead of uh, behind it where I initially started to take photos and uh, had a nice clean background behind him. Uh, the ISO was pretty fast, but I was trying to make sure that uh, I could uh, capture this bird. Uh, he it moves very quickly, so I wanted to make sure I had a fast enough shutter speed to uh, capture the bird, and uh, I believe I did. I've had some good opportunities. I had uh, an opportunity to photograph uh, a hawk. We waited for quite some time for it to take off flying, but uh, when it did, it uh, flew in the opposite direction and uh, it would have been a butt photo. I had a good opportunity to take pictures of a tricolor flying towards the lens, so it'll be interesting to see how well the autofocus performed for those pictures. I think the uh, lens has performed uh, as usual. Uh, I haven't seen uh, an improvement or I haven't seen an issue. So we'll see when I get back home. I'll have to see if it performed well after the repair from Fuji. I was able to try the uh, bird and eye autofocus tracking a little bit. A lot of times I found myself having to go ahead and uh, select a box and place it on the bird. All right, so it's going to be 10 a.m. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up uh, my day here. And I hope uh, you guys enjoy this video and uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.